Hello colleagues, welcome back to our Friday 5 in 5. Two weeks gone already, can't believe it. My first tip is an AI resource that we're going to be using more and more, I'm sure, in the future. It's called Diff It. We've signed up with this company and you will shortly be receiving an email. When you do, click on the email, sign in with your Google account and register yourself with that. Um, more details to follow us uh, in terms of how you can use it. There are many colleagues across the school that are already using it. Just have a play with it anyway. You, it's a very powerful AI tool. My second tip is something called a loop components. Now I've talked about loop components before. It's basically an item that sort of sits in your OneDrive and you can copy it and paste it in multiple locations. So you can put it in a Word document, a PowerPoint presentation, uh, OneNote for the web, and I'll show you that in a moment, and Teams chat. And what's really cool about it is that that item, when you edit it, multiple people can edit it at the same time, will the, the information in it will be represented in all of those different locations. So how do we do that? Well, let's go to a, here's, here's, a, here's a chat that I'm having with uh, David Patel. And inside here, you can click plus and move myself out of the way. You can see it says collaborate with loop and it gives you all of these different components. Have a play, put those things in there. But let's say if I want to put in a checklist, uh, what will happen now? It will give me the ability to add these checklists and away I go to be able to do this and I can tick them off if that was part of a task. Now that, that checklist, when I put that in there, let me just paste it in there, hopefully I'll delete it afterwards so it doesn't annoy David. I can now copy that and then paste that in other environments. And depends on where David is in terms of that sort of side of things, I put it in an email. That component can sit in an email and I can edit it within the email, even in the sent items. The great thing about it is now you can actually put it into a Teams channel not just a chat, but in the channel as well. So if you're communicating to students or groups of people within a channel, you can add a loop component. This is brand new. So there is the ability to collaborate with loop. So if you're asking students to vote on something, you've got some questions, there's the voting table look, that will sit in an email and in a Word document and in your Teams channel. And doesn't matter where people are, when they type things in, it will appear in the same uh, element in the same area. Very powerful. Let me just show you in OneNote what that looks like. At the moment, it's only in OneNote for the web, but you can see here, this is my communication with David in our OneNote, and I can type into here. And if I paste that into an email or into the chat, it will also appear in there. That's a lot of information, but really, if you start to play with it, then you'll be able to see the power, the synergy that's occurring between, it, it doesn't matter what platform you're on, that content that you're editing and collaborating in, they will appear in multiple platforms, but it's the same element, the same piece of data. Um, next, someone's asked me, we've had some updates in Teams, seem to be focusing a lot on Teams today, but in terms of how you access your Teams on the side here, sometimes you can switch between, with a new version of Teams, it's gone back to the grid and people like these teams to be on the side. So how do I get that back? You can click on the three dots, go to settings, go to appearance and accessibility, and down here, by default, when you get to the new teams, it's on as a grid. And I don't like that because you can't see all of the different teams that you're in very easily, you can't navigate. So again, three dots, settings, appearance and accessibility, and go to list. Whilst I'm in here, Notifications and activity. Maybe you want to copy mine. If you think you're getting too many activities or too many notifications in Teams, I've got them all switched off. I'm, I'm in control of when I want to go into Teams and have a look at uh, everything else so that I can respond and collaborate. So I just scroll down here. Um, I get a missed activity email out once an hour. I've switched off that. I've switched off these activities uh, here. I scroll down, you can see what mine are like. You just want to copy mine. Again, when you're in a meeting, set yourself as do not disturb to switch off all of those different things. Right, that's a lot. I hope that's less than five minutes. Have a great weekend, everybody. Take care.